Greetings, friends. Hello, heavy travelers. Welcome back to Seattle. We find ourselves right now at Dash Point State Park. Yeah, it's like a little state park, like not far from our hotel. Um, so we decided to peek in. We're heading over to Seattle now, so we hope you come and join us. So let's go ahead and get it started. Our first full day in Seattle begins right now. Emerald City. So before we leave the state park, show you a little bit more here. It's on Puget Sound. You can see the tide is way out right now, but it's really cool. There's all these little shells and cockles and things. They have beautiful purple color to them and lots of fun stuff we're finding out here. And just a brief point of clarification, because I know someone will be a stickler about it. We're technically not in Seattle right now, but we're just going to collectively refer to everything we do over the next few days as Seattle, just to make it easier. And following up on that, to give you an idea of exactly where we are, let's see, it's a Seattle right there. Do, 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 Puget Sound, you are here, Federal Way. the city we parked here at this como plaza um, parking garage we were gonna park um, over by the pikes market but those parking lots were full so we're uh, we're parking over here by the, the space needle which we're gonna do later but first we're gonna go to pikes place because uh, because it closes earlier than the space needle so we figured we'd go do that first. And if you don't know what Pike's Place is, it's basically like this huge market, has shopping, has restaurants, has like lots of cool stuff. It's basically like probably the most famous thing that you can do in Seattle other than the Space Needle. So like we have to do that. It's like a must do staple. So I'm really excited to check it out. Whoa, we just passed this cool little, well not little, it's really tall, a totem pole, like over here right by the Space Needle. I tell you what, so far, I'm a big fan of Seattle. It's like gorgeous. And I mean, I know it's normally rainy and we apparently caught it on a really lucky day where it's not rainy, but like, this is awesome. I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. So in order to get over to Pike's Place, cause we're not gonna walk, we're going to take the monorail, which is the Space Needle. Oh, is right there. So you just go behind the Space Needle and the monorail's right here. Oh, and it has a neon sign. Oh, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna hop on the monorail and head over. Yeah. We're all the way at the front. We're like basically the driver. Welcome to Seattle Center Mall. Please take a seat or hold on to the handrail. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the ride. of Seattle so far. It's like a mix of New York, San Francisco, and a dash of Europe. <laughs> I can't quite place it, but that's, that's kind of what's coming to mind. It's very pleasant. I, I, it. I really love it Loving so far. The weather. It is 70 degrees. Ah, uh, mwah. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what it is back home. Don't <laughs> care. Ooh, colorful wall, colorful wall. Look at the, look at the colorful wall. Oh, 
Oh, it's not just a colorful wall. It's like Seattle, Space Needle. The, uh, the Ferris wheel? Yeah, cool. We've come down the street quite a ways to find that famous sign, Public Market. This is so cool. I read that this market opened in 1907 and it started as just like a, you know, like a couple stalls that farmers like brought their crops and stuff to. And now it's evolved into all this. And we are going to explore it as much as we can. Oh my gosh. Look, it's all the flower shops. And you can like get your own personal bouquet made and everything. And it smells incredible right here. And there's like bees buzzing around. <gasps> I love it! How pretty! I want to buy every single one of these flowers and live in a lovely flowerful land. So, I think I'm gonna get this one. Miss Crochet has <laughs> found the yarn selection. <laughs> they're so beautiful and they're like hand-dyed in Seattle. Yeah. So I feel like I'm gonna have to get something here. If your ATAT -AT is ever off pace, don't worry. We'll get you on the right track. <laughs> and here's what we've been waiting for. It's time for the fish. It smells like fish. No, it's freedom. No, it's fish. <laughs> <laughs> Why doesn't every place sell their goods like this? Like, what more could you want? There's neon, there's flowers, there's fresh honey. There's lanterns, like, I mean, why doesn't every place sell their goods like this? Fish smells so good. Because it's fresh. That's why it smells so good. <laughs> DT for the bride! DT for the bride! outside on this secret rooftop produce garden. See back to the buildings, but then check out the view out this way. It's the water, got the ferry boat about to take out there. The wheel, the water all the way, mountains in the distance. Oh, you can see the cruise ships down there. Yeah, and that's the other cool thing. Past the crane, let me zoom in. See the cruise ships right there? That's gotta be ovation of the seas because we're on Quantum on Monday. So it wouldn't be here right now. So I'm thinking that's its sister ovation and next to it appears to be a celebrity cruise ship. So we will be over there in just a few days. Oh my gosh, I would love to have one of those like little apartments right there. Oh my goodness. Right there. And then we can walk over and get fresh seafood and fresh flowers and produce like every single day. I think the reason it rains so much in Seattle is because yeah. if the weather was like this all the time, everyone would want to live here. <laughs> yeah, that might be true. Look at this cute little donut place! Okay, I got an assorted pack. So I got sprinkle, cinnamon, powdered sugar, and maple. You love you some maple. Legit. Seattle's finest. <laughs> Well, here it is. <laughs> I don't quite get this, and I think it's kind of gross if I'm gonna be honest, especially with all the flying bugs around. Oh my gosh, you can smell all the flavor. This is sick. This is sick, but I'm gonna do it. It just keeps going, covered in gum. It's not flies, it's bees. It smells gross here. <laughs> Let's make this quick. I'm chewing, I'm chewing. Are you going to make history? <laughs> That's what you want to call it. <laughs> Just don't blow it, okay? <laughs> this is a sticky situation. How did they come up with this idea to do this? They must have been chewing it over for a while. Oh, but, uh, hey, oh. I have to be like careful. I don't want to like touch other people's gum. Yeah, that's a 
tall task. Oh. ever come to the gum wall, you come down the little alleyway here, this first window, right there on the corner of the sill. Please don't touch my gum. That'd make it weird between us. <laughs> and there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Eyes are moving. Oh, they were. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. And show you the magic word. There we go. Right there. That's right where it, uh, it's chopped. However, if you say the magic word restore, restore. There we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever coming through the market area, you have to stop in here at the Pike Place Magic Shop. Small little store, you can see most of it right there, uh, but the guy inside was really cool. He was awesome. He showed me a trick with the magic rod. Yeah. And now I know the magician's secret because <laughs> I bought the magic rod and I got taught it. So. I can't tell you because you have to come here and learn the secret yourself. Come in, have them teach you a trick, buy something, support them, and uh, have a good time. So we're getting ready to leave the area. I mentioned the big sign earlier, the famous one. I think this is actually probably the most famous one. multiple days there. There was so much we didn't even see. It's like a labyrinth in there. So unique design, not cookie cutter at all. Really good stuff. I feel like it's the only time you could ever say that something is labyrinthy and mean it in a good way. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was so cool. Like, we even get a nap. Like, I, I loved it. We're leaving. Let's go have some fun. Yeah. 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 It is time. All right, we're in line. They have options for like a ticket line or self-serve kiosk. We bought ours online ahead of time, like five minutes ago. How much were they? It, but for the both of us to do this at this time of day, which is like 4.30ish, was about 90 bucks total oh, for both total of us to do it. Us, so like yeah. 45. But it does change depending on the time of day. You can do a day and night pass. Okay. There's, there's options, but we're in line waiting for an elevator. All right, we're inside. There's some cool mid-century modern style art explaining the history. This is fun too. They have these little tubes that show the different stages. So this is pouring the concrete for the foundation. And then there's other tubes up ahead that have different levels. Yes, I'm so excited to see it at night. But wait, I don't have to wait to see it at night. Ignite! Da, 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 da. I'm gonna show this now because probably when we're down in the gift shop later, you're not gonna be able to see it as well. But they have like a replica of the Space Needle. You can see the elevator and like the people in it and stuff like that. And they have a plain King Kong style. Oh, and upon per further inspection, it's actually made of Legos. Which is awesome. What if you could buy that? Like, like how big of a box would it have to come in <laughs> to make all this? So after waiting in that really long line for about 25 minutes or so, they take your photo, which is free, and then you wait in another line to get into the elevator. <laughs> And we've arrived at 
the top. There's a coffee bar with pastries. That's a really <laughs> smooth elevator. And it had like really cold air conditioning. It felt good. And it was quick. I have no negatives about the elevator. <laughs> One of the informational pieces in there said that when this opened, the glass was only like waist high. And then it was just open beyond that. Obviously now much higher. But it does not really inhibit the view at all. Wow. Hey, where'd the cruise ships go? They left. They're on their sailing having a merry time. Soon enough. Soon enough. And if you're curious, there you go. <laughs> that's, that's the experience. Straight down. The view of Puget Sound is probably the highlight, but 360 degrees sweeping views of the Seattle area. It's cold too, because when you turn around and you look up, you can see the very tippy tippy dopey up there. The point of the needle. So that view was only part one of our experience. The observation deck right on the very top. But now we're gonna go down one deck. You see that revolving glass floor? Matt, do you dare to revolve around glass? Yes. With, what if it shatters underneath our feet? Uh, no one's gonna see this video. <laughs> Apparently you have to take stairs to get to that part. We didn't know this, but now we do. Descended the stairs and now we are rotating. Look. <laughs> In about five minutes I'll be doing a full split. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that. You can see like the cogs in motion. Oh, that looks so weird. What are these cogs worth? Cogsworth! <laughs> is he here? Glass. Oh, oh. This is not for the faint of heart. Your arch nemesis. Don't. I don't want to talk it's about it. Giant spiders. Making it an 82 second trip to the gift shop. If anyone wants to know what anything in particular is, feel free to ask. I might know. <laughs> Otherwise, just enjoy the view. You can just make out just the top of Mount Rainier above the sports stadiums right now. Oh, wow. station straight ahead of us was used as the exterior shot for Gray's Hospital for the show Gray's Anatomy. And this platform right here is called our Skyline Event Hall. If you're very rich, you could have a party in there. <laughs> That's all, folks. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, lead to the gift shop. Well, that was super cool. Totally worth the price of admission, in my opinion. Absolutely. It is nighttime now because we just spent the past few hours having a lovely, lovely dinner with one of our friends and viewers, Deepa. It was fantastic. We love you. Thank you for spending the time with us. You are the best and it was fantastic. Thanks for welcoming us to Seattle. Yes, and speaking of Seattle, maybe saying, Hoffman's, where are you? Why you just pulled off on the side of the road? Well, there's a very good reason. We are at Ursula Junkins Viewpoint, a little bit outside the city, worth the drive because, look at that view! 
You knew the Hoffmans were not gonna come to a new city and not show you some night aesthetic. And what is night aesthetic? Trademark. Of what? Duh. <laughs> H H T. That stands for how? <laughs> but no, check it out. Look how much you can see. So obviously you can see the space needle over there. You can see lots of the downtown buildings. Right there, you can see the Ferris wheel. Over that way, those like pink arches, you can see the um, the baseball stadium. And then to the left of that, I believe that's the football stadium. Oh, and our friend Deepa taught us something really cool. You see that like middle of the screen, like the, it looks like a big lighted stick up in the air. They, that's a crane. They light up the cranes here. <laughs> um, Deepa told us that a lot of times they do it in blue and green because that's the Seahawk colors. But yeah, I thought that was awesome because why not light up a crane? But yeah, it's just a really cool look in the whole skyline of the city. It's awesome. We really enjoyed our day in Seattle and some excellent night aesthetic was a great way to finish it off. All right, friends, that is going to do it for us for our first full day here in Seattle, in the Seattle area. And we'll be back tomorrow for even more fun. Different take, a lot different than what we did today. Mountainous fun. Ooh, so we hope we'll see you back then. But until then, we're gonna sign off for tonight. See you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels. travels.